Ancient Worm Monster Found in the Philippines Scientists have known about the giant shipworm for centuries, but none have seen a living, breathing specimen until now. Giant shipworms aren't actually worms, but bivalves, like clams and mussels. They live in three-foot-long tubular shells, planted in muddy, shallow bays. This unicorn of the mollusk world was recently discovered hanging out in the southern part of the Philippines. A local TV segment about the creatures tipped off a team from Northeastern University. They went to a lagoon in Mindanao's Sultan Kundara province and managed to collect five live worms. Back in the lab, researchers cut off one end of the shell and took out the slimy, black, baseball-sized mass of flesh. Unlike the common shipworm, which feeds on rotting wood, its giant cousin has bacteria in its gills that churn out nutrients from carbon dioxide. It still has digestive organs despite its unique mode of survival, but they're tiny from lack of use. It's not clear how many of the weird-looking creatures are left in the wild, so the team is keeping the exact location of the shipworm home a secret. Locals, though, have been harvesting the giant worms for years, eating it as an aphrodisiac, medicine, and just a tasty side dish. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. If the giant shipworm hasn't made you lose your lunch yet, here are some more bizarre looking creatures to make you squirm and hurl. Pictures of deep sea fishermen's strange harvest go viral. Just when you needed reminding of the absolute bizarre things that evolution has filled our world with, along comes Russian fisherman Roman Fedostov and his Twitter account. But let's back up. Fedostov is a deep sea harvester based out of Murmansk in Russia's frigid far northwest. He's been cataloging the strange finds his trawler pulls up from the deep ocean, including species that live up to 5,000 feet down. A lot of this stuff isn't intentionally harvested, but turns up in the trawling nets anyhow. This is known as bycatch. But it sure is fascinating, and Fedorstov's sharing it with the internet. His Twitter account, where you can find these and other incredible images, now has a healthy 83,000 followers. Weird worm shoots white goo all over human hand. Good hat. Then good hat. Anyway, ah. Then yeah. Oh, check it out. No. Yeah. Mysterious alien-looking thingy found in woman's yard. This is the bizarre creature a Californian woman says she found right outside of her house in San Jose. Struggling to understand what on earth that was, the woman posted the picture online. Needless to say, the internet community went wild. It's for sure an alien, some said. But is it really? Couldn't it just be, like this user thinks, an animal fetus? Like the fetus of a deer. Or of a cow. Or maybe it's a half-eaten sphinx cat. Gianna Peponis is convinced not only that it's an alien, but that she might even be in danger. Others, however, think she could either be a butcher or just a nutso person wanting to grab some attention with pictures that are not even hers. Tell us what you think the mysterious corpse could be in the comments below. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Great white shark eaten by mystery sea monster. Scientists say they're mystified after a great white shark appears to have been devoured by an even bigger mystery sea monster. Researchers in Australia had tagged the great white to track its movements. Four months later, 
the tag washed up on a beach less than two miles away. Data from the tag showed a sharp rise in temperature and a sudden 2,000 foot plunge. Scientists say the temperature rise means the shark was in another animal's digestive system. The only explanation so far is that it was eaten by a giant cannibal great white shark. A really, really big cannibal great white shark. The case will be featured in Hunt for the Super Predator, a documentary scheduled to air in the U.S. on June 25th. Researchers find strange animal tracks in the bottom of Lake Mashu. The clearest lake in the world is Lake Mashu, located in the northeastern part of Hokkaido, Japan. Known to the native people of the Ainu as Kamuto, or the Lake of the Gods, it's a caldera lake formed in the crater of a dormant volcano approximately 11,000 years ago. Lake Mashu is notable for having the clearest water in the world, which made it easy for a team of researchers to check out the bottom of the lake. The research team from Japan's National Institute of Environmental Studies discovered strange animal tracks in the bottom of the lake. The trail resembles marks left by a tank. Or perhaps a crayfish? Since the 1970s, there have been reports of giant crayfish living in Lake Mashu. Some claim sightings of crayfish far exceeding the size of any known to be in Japan. The researchers said if these tracks were indeed left by a crayfish, it would be a crayfish twice the size of any in the world. So, have researchers discovered Japan's lake monster?